should I stay or should I go? Third party situation. What's going on? Welcome back to Hope Tower Daily. My name is Angie. I'm a tarot card reader from England. This tarot reading is between you, your intuition and the universe. If we get into the reading and you decide, yep, no, nope, this is definitely for me. Put a little like on it. I'll see that someone out there has claimed the message that was here today. If you get into it and you're like, no, nope, this is not for me. That's a win for your intuition. Either way, it's a little bit of practice. The more we flex our intuition, the better it works for us. So let's see if there's a message here for you today. Should you go? Should you wait? Should you abandon it? Should you just see what happens? What's going on in your third party situation? It feels a bit exhausting, but we'll see what the cards have to say. I'm going to do a third party situation spread. I'm going to split the decks into four, four elements, four seasons, most importantly, four angels offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. Down this side is you. <clears throat> Down the middle is your person. Down the far side is the third party. Down the middle is the connecting energy. Um, these cards are available on Amazon. They're called the Tarot reconnect with me all the decks i use are listed on my website with a little photo and a name of the deck so that you can go and find a particular deck if you're looking for one um so down this side to you you've recently had the five of cups by the way i don't know if you know that hmm you've recently had the five of cups which is all about lost regret new hope I think you've walked away from this before and you came back to it um, because you were hopeful that it was going to be different to what it was. It may have been quite an ongoing situation for you. Um, when you had the five of cups, the third part you had the four of cups. So they were in quite a similar position, to be honest. They were reevaluating things. They were thinking they don't know what they want from this. Um... But when, when you were at the point of the Five of Cups for you and you genuinely thought, no, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm done with it. I'm not doing it. I can't do it anymore. And at that point, when, when you said that to yourself, you really, 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 really meant it. But then your person's like, oh, where are you going? Come back. With the Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles right in the middle of you both. They put the work in and, and they got your attention again. And you were genuinely out of the door, physically, mentally. But they pulled you back in again. They pulled you back in again. Which is frustrating, isn't it? Because you were genuinely at that point of, ah, oh, I've done, done. Uh, they didn't put any work in over there. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles reversed. All of their energy was going back into pulling you back in again. Um, and, the, and, and the third party felt an energy disconnect between them both. The Knight of Pentacles is acknowledging that a new approach needs to be made. But instead of fixing this over here or correcting things over here, they focused on pulling you back in again. I don't know what. What does that mean? Does that mean that they love you? They want to offer you everything? Or does that just mean that they're like, no, no, where are you going? Come back. I haven't finished with you yet. You know, hmm. I'm going to pull clarifying cards because probably going to need it. Sometimes I say that and it gets to the point of, no, actually, we've had all the answers. Uh, the Knight of Wands reversed for you at the moment. You're back in that place of, what am I doing? If I don't see movement from you, I'm going. You can't just pull me back in again. Because it really does feel like they put all of their energy on getting your attention, convincing you, oh, it would be different, or whatever it was that they done. They pulled you back in. And now you're feeling like, oh, you pulled me back in, you got my attention, now what do you want? And uh, the Knight of Wands really does like movement. When it's reversed, it gets really frustrated with indecisiveness, travel problems, not knowing what they're doing, not knowing where they're going. Um, and you're back in that place of, I need to do something. If this doesn't change, I'm going. 
because I can't do this. And uh, your person has the Seven of Cups. They're keeping their options open. So they're doing just enough. They're doing just enough. All of the hard work that they put in to get you back, they're now doing just enough so that you're still in that little bit of limbo of, I don't really see any movement here. I need some movement here. I'm either in or I'm out. I don't care. I don't care. And they're just keeping their options open. They're like, doing just enough to keep you interested. Just enough to... I'm, in my head, it's like a, a carrot and a string and a donkey. It's like, just enough. Follow, follow the uh, breadcrumbs. Is it Hansel and Gretel? You know, follow the breadcrumbs through the forest. I'll just leave you some breadcrumbs. And I think you're waking up to it, so I'm just having a big stretch. I'm yawning because I think you're over it. <laughs> I don't ever yawn during readings. I think you are over it. We've got the moon reversed in between you both. And um, like before, you could see that there was a path there. Even if you couldn't physically see it, you knew, you had the faith there was definitely a path here, there was definitely a future here, they were definitely pulling you back in for a reason and, and you had that faith and you had that guidance and you're like, put all, all of your faith into that. They want me, we're going to have a future together and that's what you were very clear about. Right now, you don't know, you, you think there's secrets, lies, you're bewildered, you have all these inner fears coming out, you're really confused about what they want, you don't know if you've got a future together or not, all the things that you knew in the past, you don't know anymore, um, and it's because of them, they're like, keep, keep them options open, just, just stand and wait there, I'm just gonna have a look through the wardrobe, <clears throat> You know, like in a clothes shop, um, change rooms. I don't know why this is in my head. I guess some of the most random things come into my head, but it feels like, you know, they've they've gone through the whole shop. They've found the best possible outfit. It looks amazing on them. It it fulfills everything that they want. But they're still in the changing rooms, and they're saying, right, I'm just gonna keep that there so that no one else can buy it. And I'm just going to ask the assistant to go out or the, the person in the change rooms to go out and just check and send me photos to see if there's anything else. Maybe I'll do a little bit of online shopping while I'm in here, but I'm just going to get this, this best thing that I've got. I'm going to keep it there. Just keep it there. No one else can have it because I might want, because I'm probably going to want to wear it, maybe. But I'm just going to check. I don't know why all that's in my head, but that's what's... That visual imagery was in my head, so there you go. Do with that what you will. If that makes sense, let me know in the comments, because I think that's probably one of the most random things that has come into my head. Um, so, the third party in this at the moment has the Six of Wands reversed feeling delays again I think they're in quite a similar place to you as they're being kept dangling the king of wands reversed is in the middle on both and it's almost like when the when the third party says to them or challenges challenges them they're like how can you challenge me I'm here aren't I or you're in my life aren't you it feels like that so I think maybe you in the third party are in a similar situation I think if anything like there's a better connection between you and this person but I don't really want to say that because it feels like when they wanted to get you back that's where all the work went in but at the moment nah there's no work here at all and instead of so then you'd think well if they're not putting the work in over here they would put it in over there but the third party saying, I'm not getting out of this what I want. And your person's like, you should be grateful for what you got. That's kind of the attitude. Whereas if you said that, I think they'd probably give you a bit of a different... I don't think they'd speak to you like that. I just don't think that they would. They're good at keeping you dangling and they're good at keeping you interested. But I don't think they would say to you, you should be grateful for what you've got. I don't think they would say that to you. It feels different. Um, 
so there is a level of respect there not much but some and i'm pretty sure everyone's just clicked off this video <clears throat> but this is a message for someone i think i've had far too much coffee um the third part here is moving on to the seven of pentacles waiting for this to grow waiting to see if the seeds are gonna harvest at any point there they don't particularly want to go anywhere i don't know if the third party lacks confidence i think you have a lot more confidence as a person in general um in between them both is the king of cups reversed uh when the king of cups reversed sometimes it can mean dishonesty sometimes it can be mean keeping back feelings i'm just taking it there's lies here dishonest behavior the third party i don't think has the confidence to walk away and mean it i don't think they'd even i don't think it would occur to them to even say to themselves should i stay should i go it's more of a bored energy of waiting to see what what your person's going to do whereas i do think you're more of a actually i can make my own mind up you don't need them to make your mind up you can make your own mind up it's just annoying that that moment when you did make your mind up in the past they went out of their way to pull you back in again um your person's moving on to the six of swords reversed half-hearted energy i don't like that i don't like that at all the three of cups is going in, in the middle of you both and you've got the king of pentacles reversed for them it's almost like you get nah no 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 i thought you were my king of pentacles you're not my king of pentacles i wouldn't be surprised if we're dealing with an earth sign with the pentacles that are coming up the third party is going to be not happy, not content, but they're like, well, I've planted all these seeds. I can't walk away from it. But they don't ever get the truth out of your person. And your person's really quite short with them. And it's got a bit of a temper with them. Impatience. Um, I don't feel much respect here at all. And I do think you're going to be like, well, I thought you were my, my person, but... I don't think you are. Um, it's almost like you think they're not the person that I thought you were. Um, so I don't need to clarify the third party in this because they've planted their seeds. They're going to keep watering them. They're going to keep hoping for the best. Um, they've convinced themselves that one day this will be okay. Things will be fine. This person will be nice to them. Um They've convinced themselves of that. I'm pretty sure. What you want to know? Should you stay or should you go? And I don't think it's even a case. I don't think you were wrong for going back. The amount of effort that they put in to get you back in again. I don't think you were wrong for doing that. Because you would have always had that thing in your mind. of If you hadn't have given them another chance. You would have had it in your mind. Well, at some point in your life, you would have thought... Oh, goodness, if I'd have given them another chance, maybe we could have worked it out. It's almost like you had to give them another chance just to see. So that if you do ever walk away, you can walk away without that niggling doubt of, oh, but it could have been different. It was me that stopped it from being different. No, they pulled you back in and now they've left you in limbo again. Um, Once someone's done that a few times, they'll keep doing it. Even my shuffling right now is a little bit half-hearted to this person. I'm just looking at the Six of Swords thinking, oh, God, they're just... I don't even know. I don't even think it's their indecisive. I do think, like, with the Seven of Cups, I think they like keeping their options open. I don't like that with someone. Five of Wands for you at the moment. Competitions, challenges, they really are pushing you. They're pushing you to the edge, whether they realise that or not, I don't know. You've got the Six of Cups reversed, you're ready to put this in the past. And the Three of Pentacles reversed, you want to work part of a team, but they're not. So there's this resentment. You've got resentment bubbling up now. You've got all of these negative feelings bubbling up now. Um, 
again, don't regret giving them a second chance because you answered something that you needed to answer within yourself to do with this. Uh, the Eight of Swords reversed. The Knight of Swords reversed. And the Seven of Swords, you're doing what's best for you. Um, the Eight of Swords reversed is isolation, rejecting them, putting the boundaries around you. And it's almost like feels like you just completely cut them off. Um, and I, I'm not sure if you're convinced about that but right now. But you are at that point of you're ready to put this in your past. It's almost like you've had that question answered. You've given them that chance. And um, and what have they done with that? They haven't made the most of it. They haven't done all the movement that they were meant to be moving. You're not an option. You're a human being. You know, you shouldn't be left as an option. You're worth more than that. And you know that. The Seven of Swords is a, like, I describe it as a pension pot for the future. Doing today what is best for you in the future. Trusting your instincts and doing it on the down low. It's almost like you're sneaking out the back door, cutting them off, blocking them on everything so they can't reach out to you. Because the amount of work that they put in to pull you in again last time, I'm not convinced they'll do that again. But you kind of, you may feel that, you want to make sure that they can't do that because you've had that question answered. You know, how many chances can you give someone? The Knight of Swords reversed is rushing in, making a mistake, rushing back out again. That's all. And it just, it does, it feels like you're bolting for the door. You're not ready. You're not quite there yet. You've still got a few little nice feelings. You've still got a little bit of benefit of the doubt. But those feelings of resentment are really bubbling for you now because you're more than just an option. You should be a 50-50 in a relationship that is the type of relationship that you want. Um, so, yeah, they're keeping you as an option. The lovers, five of pentacles. It's almost like the two extremes that they are, you know. When they want it, they want it. And when they don't want it, they leave you out in the cold. They're keeping you as an option. And that doesn't feel nice. The sun reversed with the promise of, oh, one day it'll be all right. One day it'll be all right. Hot, cold, hot, cold. One day it'll be all right. How long can someone dangle that for? And at the moment you're like, yeah, well, one day it might be all right. The third party's buying that. The third party's buying a hot, cold, hot, cold. One day we'll be fine. You're not anymore. I don't think you are. I think you've still got that little bit inside you, but no. Nah. They're keeping the world open for them. The hermit reversed. They're going to feel it when you shut them off. And the moon reversed. It's their own fault. Um, The hermit reversed is feeling the disconnect. And it, it comes from you with the eight of swords. You putting the boundaries around yourself. And you doing what you need to do for you. And they've only got themselves to blame. Because the moon reversed is in between you both at the moment. And it's almost like they're going to be on the world wide web looking for you and they can't find you anymore because you've gone because who can live with hot cold hot cold one day it'll be nice one day it'll be warm all of the time no you don't want hot cold hot cold you want a nice sunny day every single day please thank you if we can have some rain at night for the trees that'd be great you know that kind of thing <laughs> perfect world um in between you both two of ones it's going to open up Choices for you and injustice, cutting them off once and for all. And it's their fault with their half-hearted energy with the six swords reversed. But by distancing yourself from them, it gives you choices for your future and it opens up a future for you. And it, you can genuinely walk away from this knowing you gave them a second chance. You may have given them more than a second a chance. You waited and waited and waited. They promised you whatever they've promised you, they play hot and cold, they keep you as an option, no, it's time to start making plans for you, not quite yet, you're not quite there yet, but you're going to be, I do think you're going to go, I think the third party in this is just going to put up with it forever, probably, ever in a day, because there's a different, there's a different balance in their connection, um, I don't want to say they're gullible. I don't want to say that. I just think there's a different balance in their connection. I think you've got more of a a 360 view of it. I think you've got a much more balanced view of it. 
so there's that I think I've talked myself around in a circle so I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so that your angels can take you on your way if you've made it to this point and you feel this reading was for you, put a little like on the video. I'll see that someone out there has claimed it. If you see Purple Hearts in my comments, you're now part of the Purple Heart gang. Purple Hearts like to make it to the last 30 seconds of a video. I appreciate you. I see you in the comments. It's very elite crew. Hardly anyone makes it to the end of the video. So I will see you soon. Bye.